guys! Today, I know we kind of already went over what I'm going to be doing food-wise. I just wanted to kind of dive a little deeper into that before we go into how my week was. So for food, I know I talked about it. I have said that where I'm starting is not where I wanted to start and it's just from getting a coach when I didn't think I was going to be getting a coach. And when, when I say that, my original plan was to do my 10-week cut, reverse diet back up, and be at a maintenance for about a month before I went back into to a cut which would have been my prep and I wanted my maintenance to be about 20 2100 calories uh, the last time I was at a maintenance level and did a reverse diet was back when I first started this back in August and that maintenance ended up being 1900 calories so the reason I wanted to go a little higher with my maintenance is so I could I had more room to drop when it came time to be in my prep so being at 20 2100 calories when I started my prep, I would have dropped to 1,600 calories, which was a, would have been about a four to 500 calorie deficit, which was the same deficit I was in when I first did my cut in February. And then I would do that for about four weeks. The next four weeks, I would drop down to, I think it was going to be like 1,400, so drop down another 200 calories. And then the last four weeks, I would have dropped down to 1,200. And 1,200 is low enough where I can still go down a few calories if I needed to in my peak week, um, those last one or two weeks if I needed to. But that was the overall plan. Now, where did I actually end up starting? Obviously, I did not start at 20, 2100 calories. I started at 1200 calories. So when I say I didn't start where I wanted to, I really didn't start where I wanted to because 1200 calories was where I wanted to be during the last four weeks and it's where I'm starting. So obviously 1200 calories in a 12 week period, there's not a lot that you can safely go down. And I didn't wanna put myself in a position where I was really, really doing harm to my body. And going through a bikini competition obviously isn't the greatest thing for your body getting down to that lean of a body fat percentage, but I wanted to do it in the healthiest way possible. And for me, you know, um, at 1200 calories, safely, that's like maybe 200 calories I can drop in that 12 weeks. So what I'm really hoping is that we just, we don't drop as drastically. Hopefully my coach, knowing we started so low, is going to be like, our drops are going to have to be smaller and we're just going to have to increase the cardio. So that's where it looks like we are heading because I've done three weeks, the same macros. I've been at about 1200 calories for my low carb days and 14 to 15 hundred calories on my high carb days. I only get two high carb days, so it's five the low, two of the high. But if this is something that you are doing by yourself and you don't have a coach, you don't have someone who kind of knows what they're doing and you're doing this a lot on your own, I would definitely recommend making sure that you are at a good maintenance level prior to going into your prep because I would not be doing something, my calories would not be this low if I was doing this completely on my own. So I'm very lucky to have my coach and I, you know, I have to trust her. I'm paying her. I have to trust her and do what she says. Otherwise, there's no point in me paying her. It's a waste of money. So that's what's going on with my food, macro-wise and calorie-wise. And the other thing I kind of wanted to touch on is how often I'm eating and then like the actual foods that I'm eating. So I'm eating about four or five times a day, more four. We can say five, but it's really more four because my meal four and five are kind of, you can all just put that into one meal. But I do eat breakfast. I do eat lunch. I eat a snack between my lunch and dinner. So right before I go to the gym, I have a meal, I have my dinner. And then um, I have my dessert, which is basically just a tablespoon of peanut butter. That's not really a meal, so that's why you can kind of include that into dinner. So it's four meals. And as far as the foods that I'm eating, the um, for my protein, I'm really trying to do my best to get my protein from lean meats. So that's going to be your chicken, your fish, and uh, for me, turkey. My turkey is 1% fat, so very, very lean turkey. For my fats, I'm predominantly getting those from my eggs, but also there's some peanut butter, stuff like that where you're getting your healthy fats. I haven't incorporate avocados yet. I'm not a big avocado person, but we may have to start throwing in some avocados to get my fats. But my fats haven't really been that big of an issue. I've been able to hit those relatively well, which is great. And then for carbs, <laughs> uh, carbs are, should be predominantly coming from my vegetables, but I can also get them from like rice, oats, uh, I was told like cream of wheat. Uh, I've never had cream of wheat or anything like that, but maybe it's something I might have to transition to eventually, but haven't had to yet, but mostly rice, oats, and then of course 
vegetables. I am definitely eating more vegetables than I have before. I'm not a big veggie person. I see people on YouTube like, yeah, I'm not a big veggie person. I don't really like vegetables, but then every single meal they have is like vegetables and they're still saying, yeah, I don't eat a lot of vegetables. So when I say I'm not a vegetable person, I don't eat a lot of vegetables. I do not eat vegetables. I'm not a vegetable person. I, I'm that kind of person where you kind of have to sneak the veggies in a bit like you really want me to eat them and like enjoy it like my spinach can't have spinach can't have it. I could, physically cannot have it raw I can't have it in my mouth long enough to chew and swallow because it triggers my gag reflex I'm not exaggerating I'm being literal when it says it triggers my gag reflex I can do it cooked I still gag but you, you don't have to chew it you just swallow it whole I still gag but I can get it down I do try and do broccoli for my lunches I have the rice broccoli so I can easily mix it in with my rice not that I don't like broccoli it just it doesn't, it doesn't really do anything for me. I'm not like, oh yeah. Oh, that broccoli is fire. I mean, unless it has cheese on it, then yeah, it's gonna be fire. But no, nothing about vegetables has really appealed to me. I've never been like, I just want some asparagus. Just want some Brussels sprouts. No, never been like that. So trying to incorporate more and more vegetables. It's a little challenging for me, but as of right now, I do have vegetables in all of my meals. So that I think is a win. It's the most vegetables I've ever eaten and I am proud of that accomplishment. <laughs> and I know I kind of talked about it a little bit in my first video, but all of the foods that I'm eating are not processed foods or minimally processed as possible. I'm trying to get as many whole foods in as possible possible. That's more or less what I've been doing with my food, the kind of parameters and guidelines that I've set up for myself and my coach has set up for, for me to kind of follow. She's not giving me a meal plan, she's giving me my macros. I know enough to be able to kind of put the pieces together myself. I'm sure there's gonna come a point where it's like, no, you need 300 grams of this, and 200 grams of this, and a gram and a half of that. I'm sure it's coming. We're not there yet. I'm really happy with my food, but that is because I'm eating high volume foods. So, you know, the foods I'm eating are not calorically dense, so I can eat high volumes of it and still meet my macros. So, really important, and that's why whole foods are your friend when eating such low calories, because you can still eat and fill your stomach as much and still lose weight, so definitely important. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for food and how I've kind of been structuring everything. So after all of that, why don't we, uh, why don't we get into the, how my week went. <laughs> So I tried pre-workout today and I've said it quite a few times, I don't have any caffeine in my diet. And I know you're not supposed to take like a full serving and a full scoop when, when you're not used to caffeine, but I was just like, man, I was so tired last week. Maybe I need it because I was so tired, but I wasn't that tired today. I got a little tired. I was like, all right, I know like, cause I thought I was gonna be training with my trainer. And I was like, I know he's gonna kill me. So you know what, maybe like, I'm not that tired. I'm starting to feel a little tired. So maybe just take the whole thing. I, it was a free sample that I got when I ordered the PE Science Cake Pop Protein Powder. And every time I order it, they always have like free samples. So I have quite a few things of pre-workout packets. So I don't have like a container where I have like a scoop. Um, and I don't want to open a packet and then like not use all the powder and try and save it and have it sit in my car. And so I'm, we're just gonna get the whole thing. I'm still feeling like kind of energized from it. It's been probably an hour and a half of intense like exercise. I did the 45 minutes cardio. I, I said I was gonna do it in the morning, but it was Sunday and you know, like I kind of don't want to go to work on Monday because it's Monday. Once I'm up and like driving to work, I'm fine. But Sunday night, it's really like, oh my God, I don't want the weekend to end. So I tend to stay up a little later and because I'm not opening the office, like I can go in a little later and still get like my eight hours. But I was like, yeah, I don't want to wake up early to do cardio. We'll just try and do the 45 minutes. And I did, I was able to do it and it was fine. So that's good. But yeah, when I took that pre-workout, you know, I started talking to, to one of the trainers there and this other guy, and they're like, are you on cocaine? And like my eyes were like dilated, I was like shaking. I was speaking like really fast. They were like, oh my God, you're not supposed to do that. So I definitely feel, am I starting to shake again? Oh my God, what have I done? I hope I can fall asleep tonight. Yeah, I, I still was like out of breath. I'm sweating like, yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. So definitely was sweating. It didn't make the workout necessarily easier, but I was definitely more like, I didn't have to feel exhausted and tired and hyperventilating and like mentally like, 
you know, it was nice. Like I still have the energy. So I was like, yeah, okay, I'm good. I don't think I'll do pre-workout tomorrow because it's upper body. I do pretty well with upper body. And like I said, I thought I was working out with my trainer. I thought we were gonna do like a Monday, Thursday, but I texted him like, hey, are you here? He's like, oh, I thought we were doing Wednesday, Thursday. I was like, it's fine, we're good. As long as I see you on Wednesday, because you're not here on Fridays, and I need one leg day and one back day with you. Those are the important muscles. So try half on Wednesday, depending on how I feel, too. I think I'll do half. It'll be fine. I'll let you know if I actually get tired, if I remember. But yeah, that was my experience with pre-workout. People thought I was on cocaine. I made jokes about it. Like, yeah, I don't drink coffee. And people were like, wow, you have so much energy. What do you mean you don't have caffeine? And I'm like, I, it would act, it would look like I was on cocaine if I had caffeine. Do you want a cocaine acting person around you? And like, oh, no, I don't. But no, people actually thought I was on cocaine. It's one hell of a drug. All right, um, <laughs> I'm gonna go home now. So my bathing suit came in yesterday and it's so pretty. Look at that. Ooh, ah. <laughs> the only problem is it seems a bit too small. It doesn't go all the way around my underbust and there's a pretty decent chunk of space left to reach. And that's my rib cage and it's bone. So I don't know how much I am planning on losing there. I did reach out to them and told them about it. And they're like, oh, take pictures for us to see. Cause the first response was really fast. And then when they said pictures, I sent them back immediately. And then I haven't heard anything from them. So that was last night. So hopefully I hear something from them by today as to what to do, what to expect, that'd be nice. But then also with the bottoms, I feel like everyone else is like, you know, with regular bathing suit bottoms, it follows like the line where like your leg bends. Mine doesn't do that either. It comes up like, it's my crotch, I'm sorry. But it's like, so here's like my leg where it bends right here. And then it comes up like here. So it doesn't follow this line. I, it's weird, it just, it doesn't look right. It doesn't look like other people's. Hopefully we can fix it because it's a beautiful suit and it costs a lot of money. That would better be fixed. <laughs> I totally forgot to mention how like sleeping after all the pre-workout, um, I felt like I calmed down pretty well, but if I wanted to get in like the attitude to be like hyper, it was very easy for me to kind of like get in that mood again. Sleep wise, it did take me a little longer to fall asleep. Um, and then I don't know how I was when I was sleeping. I may have been tossing and turning, I don't know, but I know I woke up and I was tired for most of the day. Just kind of like I felt exhausted. So I didn't do any pre-workout today. I'm gonna do half a serving tomorrow when I work out with Maurice, see how my body handles that. But I felt good during my workout, felt fine during the cardio. When I got into the posing practice, I just felt meh, I guess you would say. But yeah, I just didn't feel like I was doing very well. I felt like I was struggling with the moves and like that I just wasn't getting it. Like I know where to place my hands, but they just kept not going where they needed to go or I knew where I needed to place my feet and I knew how to, how to, how to turn my body. But my body just wouldn't do it on the first turn or the first try. So I would go to turn, be like, this is wrong, make an adjustment. Now let's try and do it right the without making adjustments. And I just couldn't, I felt like I just couldn't get it. And then time-wise, like I feel I, every time I time myself, I'm like in the 20, 30 second range and you only have 10 seconds of stage time. Um, I was told like, don't worry so much about the time because then you might rush and you know, mess things up. But you know, that was just like on top of not being able to really hit anything in my opinion. And then, you know, the old that old insecurity of mine where, cause I don't have like a flat, I mean, I have a pretty flat stomach, let, let's be honest. I'm, I'm pretty tiny, but I'm only three weeks in. I've got nine more weeks to go after this. I just feel like I still have too much fat on my body and that it doesn't look good compared to all the other compa competitors. And it's like, granted, I follow pros. They aren't other amateurs like myself, especially not first time competitors um, where they're like, yeah, I'm, they're the same distance out from their shows. And it's like, wow, you look like you can go on stage right now. And I know that there's someone else who was competing for the first time that I follow on Instagram. She's like, I'm blank weeks out, which is pretty close to mine. And even her stomach was like flatter and leaner than mine. And I was just like, so that's just a really big fear to find that I'm just gonna still have too much fat because I've never been able to get rid of my stomach fat, ever. I've never been able to get it lean in my entire life. And it's just a worry that it's just not gonna happen. And I'm gonna go on stage just looking like a joke. And so that on top of who's like, you can't pose, you're horrible the timing, you look horrible. So yeah, that, that 30 minutes of posing just 
defeated me somehow for the day, even though it was, I was, I was kind of tired, but I wasn't like upset or anything. And then the workout went great. I don't know what happened to be in the posing room, but it was just like, I don't feel great about myself today. Somehow, you know what they say, you gotta trust the process. I won't freak out until I'm like a week or two out from show and I still feel these things. Then I'll panic. Cause I don't know if I even would want to go on stage if I don't feel like I look, if I don't meet like, not the requirements. Cause obviously there's nothing like required to be allowed on stage, but I don't want to go up looking like a joke. You know, I don't. And that's what I'm worried about. That I'm just going to end up looking like a joke. Like there was one article I read where this person's like, so many girls come to these competitions, not taking it seriously, never really like worked out, put in the effort. They're just like naturally skinny. They're tiny and they think that gets some fun thing to do and it's like i put so much work and effort into this and if that i don't want people to see me and think wow she just thinks she's a skinny girl with some muscle you know like i i want my hard work to show off and i'm that's that's what i'm really worried about is that it's not gonna show through and that i'm just gonna look like an idiot i guess it's still too soon to tell but it didn't help that when i got my bathing suit it was too small so Okay, so I mastered the pre-workout. I took what I think was half. The intent was for it to be half. Was it half? Debatable, maybe a little more than half. But um, I have, uh, what I have are these little packets. I really do like this one. I think I'm probably gonna stick with it. That had 160 milligrams and I did, like I said, half. Apparently that's like nothing. So half of the 160, seemed to work really well. I was pretty hyper in the beginning and I just, it was like my ADHD was kind of kicking in a little more where I had to constantly be moving. I think I was ready to go. I was training with Maurice today and I was ready to go probably like about 10 minutes earlier than usual and he was with someone else and he ran a little late. So I was just up with them talking with some of the trainers and like I was just literally like going foot by foot and or like balance shifting my weight on each foot and then like I was like jumping up and down but I didn't feel like super crazy just kind of like my ADHD was very active and then I felt good during the workout um definitely had the energy I don't feel as spazzy as I did when I took the full serving I think what I'm gonna do is only gonna do them on leg days just because leg days are always difficult for me, regardless, always the most exhausting. Yeah, so I think if that would only be three times a week. Master the pre-workout, probably should actually order it because I have that, and then I think I have one more sample package. And then, I don't know where my BCAs are at yet. There was a delay, they're in Orlando. And on Monday and it's Wednesday, but then I realized I also had sample packages of BCAAs, which I just used the last one of it. So hopefully those come in soon. But then other than that, just just wanted to note that you don't have caffeine or you don't really use caffeine a lot or just in general, you don't haven't done pre-workout before, maybe go with the half scoop. Maybe. Try it out. Give it a shot. See what it feels like. So those are actually gonna be cookies that I'm using for a Instagram cookie review that I'm doing after. I didn't plan on ordering them yet, but they had this heath filled one and I, I'm i a slut for heath bars or anything heath filled. Love toffee. And they were like sold out. It was a post about them being sold out and then like opening the cookie. I was like, oh my God, that looks so good. And I just love to come like, oh my God, like when are you gonna have these again? Like I need this. And they're like, we actually have a few more if you uh, want to check it out. I was like, yeah, sure, absolutely. And they're like, yeah, we have a lot of other flavors that like we still have extras of. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll look at those too. And like, yeah, you need to order like at least five. And I was like, well, I'm already down this rabbit hole, so might as well commit all the way. So those unexpected, super excited. Those flavors seem amazing. The cookies look really good too. And I'm just gonna use that as my one of the next um, cookie review cookies. So I'm, I'm ahead of schedule. I'm just I'm an overachiever apparently. But I did order World's Best. Those are gonna be my post show cookies uh, when I get home because I already have plans for like the actual post show day when I'm up in Orlando. So those will be when I come home. I'm gonna enjoy the World's Best. But those should be coming hopefully by this week. There, there was a bit of a delay with this shipment, but both of those are actually gonna end up going 
going to my friend Caitlin's place because it will come a point where I will not trust myself with there being that kind of food in my house and that readily available to me. So they're just, they're just gonna go to my friend's place because I don't trust myself. Towards the end of this, I'm prepared to not trust myself. So, gotta prep for my pre workout. It's leg day and a Friday. So, we're just gonna pour some water from one jug to another jug. And we're gonna take the last of the pre workout. So, I've been sitting in my car all day. And it's 100 degrees. So, that's nice. I also feel like I'm pretty awake, too. I only, I definitely used more than half of this on Wednesday. So, hopefully, the little powder that was actually left in here is fine. So uh, it's about 5.06, I'll probably drink it like 5.20. So Tiffany Logic, have to pee. Don't go to the bathroom in the office, get in the car for a 40 minute drive. You then drink more water because of pre-workout and have to pee so badly that I don't even have time to grab all the stuff in my car that I need for the gym because I was literally going to be myself. So I gotta change and I gotta go back out and get my sneakers because I did, could not afford to grab them in a the moment. I also threw my stuff on the floor so I could make it to the bathroom. totally kept forgetting to film today <laughs> but I remembered um, I was able to get my sister to film the workout that's why there was workout this week but no we just actually went to dinner for my friend Caitlin that was kind of like my fun thing to do out with friends this week and as you could see I did not eat anything and it doesn't this is the third time I've done something like that where I've gone to a restaurant and haven't eaten and um, I ate dinner before I came here so it was nice and full and I drank a lot of water and it just it didn't bother me which is really nice I'm really happy that it's not bothering me that I can still go out and hang hang out with my friends and not let the whole eating thing stop me from still enjoying myself. And we're just gonna go play some games and end out today pretty nicely, I'd say. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.